Hello and welcome to 3 Auto TV. I'm your host Shubham Joshi and you're watching The Coin Monitor. Virtual digital assets are stacked against multiple headwinds including gold, interest rates and the lack of buying ahead of the halving event. Well, the risk sentiment remained fragile in the face of higher for longer US interest rates. Bitcoin traded below the $62,000 mark. IC50 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 3.2% at 76,500 points. Apparently, the price of Bitcoin slipped towards the $59,000 mark during the US trading session. While well, the largest cryptocurrency by market value remained between $60,000 and $70,000 for a month after hitting a record high, about $73,000 in the month of March. Well, focus is now shifted to the upcoming halving event, which will take place in the coming days with the generation of block number 840,000 on the Bitcoin. Bitcoin blockchain. Well, this would result in the reduction of the new Bitcoin being mined and peddle the narrative of token scarcity and increase in its value. Interestingly, the current market scenario of interest rates uncertainty does not augur well for the crypto markets, which often thrives in a low rate, high liquidity environment. However, recent comments by the Fed Chair Jerome Powell have dashed the cut rate hopes. He said that the sticky inflation gave Fed little confidence to begin interest rates cutting. Meanwhile, Bitcoin supply on the centralized exchanges is likely to run out and hence it would become twice as rare as gold after the halving event as per the reports published by the cryptocurrency exchange Bybit. Furthermore, the report details that there are only 2 million Bitcoins left on the cryptocurrency exchanges and assuming a daily inflow of $500 million from spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds, around 7,142 Bitcoins will be leaving exchanges reserves on a daily basis. While the global cryptocurrency market cap was at $2.24 trillion mark, decreasing 3% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volume increased by 6% to $99 billion. Well, as per Bybit's report, Bitcoin's stock to flow is currently around 56, while gold is around 60. After the upcoming halving event, expected later this month, Bitcoin's stock to flow ratio will be doubled to 112. In other news, Kronos has reopened after a mainnet version 1.2 upgrade, announcing decentralized application integration and the process. The upgrade also enhances RPC functionality and developer backward compatibility, allowing for the block difficulty to maintain dApp backward compatibility. Moreover, Singularity NET and Minstrap Labs have partnered to revolutionize DeFi on Cardano, combining AI and DeFi technologies to enhance the system and improve products and the solutions for the Web3 ecosystem. While talking about the US stock futures, they've rose after the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite locked a fourth straight day of losses. Futures tied to the S&P 500 increased 0.2%, while Nasdaq 100 futures gained 0.38%. Talking about the Dow Jones Industrial Average futures, they were up by 0.15% respectively. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency, was trading at $61,500, down 3.2%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 2.8% and was trading at $3,000. Talking about other altcoins, BNB was down at 0.5% to trade at $545. Solana Sol was down by 6.3% and was trading at $130. Next on the list, Cardano's ADA token was down by 3.4% to trade at $0.44. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $33, lower 3.5%. Next on the list, Polygon Matic was trading down by 6% to trade at $0.66. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 8% at $0.14. Shiba Inu was trading down by 3.2%. Wells Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.48, down by 2%. Last on the list, Polkadot was down by 1.2%, to trade at $6.6. Well, that's all in today's special segment. This is me, Shobham Joshi, signing off. For more such interesting updates and market analysis, keep watching 3.0TV or log on to our website or scan the QR code. Thank you. With 3 Auto TV, stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3 Auto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3 Auto TV delivers the news that matters.
Shiba Inu token holders have maintained their investments for over a year, indicating a shift in cryptocurrency investors' focus on long-term gains over immediate returns. The average holding period for Shiba Inu is two years, indicating significant loyalty to the meme coin despite fluctuating market conditions. Sheep's price has surged by over 92% since the last year, but the token remains 74% below its all-time high. Only 58.1% of holders are in the money. Based on current market prices, suggesting a large number of investors are likely to hold the tokens in anticipation of future price increases. Additionally, there has been a 25.9% increase in daily burn rate of Shiba Inu tokens with a 289.3% jump in the number of tokens burned over the past week. This strategic token burning aims to enhance the token's market value and potentially prepare it for future growth. SingularityNet and MinSwap Labs have partnered to revolutionize DeFi on Cardano, combining AI and DeFi technologies to enhance the system and improve products and solutions for the Web3 ecosystem. The collaboration will focus on optimizing liquidity pools and strategic token incentives to increase adoption and usability of respective ecosystems. MinSwap has supported SingularityNet in its Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance and the collaboration will also provide advantages to Cardano, such as liquidity, which will drive overall crypto sector growth. The ADA and AGIX prices are expected to rally with the ADA price falling 1% in the past 24 hours and AGIX price up more than 1% in the last 24 hours. Kronos has resumed operations following the completion of the mainnet version 1.2 upgrade which aims to improve the integration and process of decentralized applications. The upgrade also improves RPC functionality and developer backward compatibility using block dot difficulty or block dot per window to maintain the backward compatibility. The RPC improvement introduces bug fixing and support for different EVM parameters. Participants can now use the currently operational Kronos Explorer as the Kronos scan catches up. Kronos is a Cosmos SDK-based EVM-compatible blockchain that leverages Ethermint, allowing quick migration of smart contracts and applications from attuned networks like Ethereum to Kronos. The blockchain uh, employs a proof-of-authority mechanism and participants use the CRO digital coin to pay for transactions. The Titan upgrade aims to match Kronos' objectives with Tether compatibility, introducing notable changes within the ecosystem.